Hey guys, Dr. Yo from ECA Wellness. So yesterday the FDA just made an announcement that they found low levels of a cancer-causing chemical in the popular heartburn medication, Zantac. Now Zantac has been in commercial use since 1981 and has been considered one of the best-selling drugs in history. So you can imagine what a major cause of concern this news could be. So there are three major classes of medications that we use to treat acid reflux, also known as heartburn and peptic ulcer disease. Proton pump inhibitors decrease the stomach acidity. You have H2 blockers like Zantac that inhibit the production of the gastric acid. And the third class are called antacids and they neutralize existing acid. There are specialized cells in the stomach called parietal cells that are responsible for secreting the main component of digestive gastric juices called hydrochloric acid. When histamine binds to receptors on the parietal cell called H2 receptors, they cause the parietal cell to release hydrochloric acid. Zantac is also known as its generic name, ranitidine, is an over-the-counter medication that blocks the H2 receptor on the parietal cells in the stomach, causing a decrease in acid secretion and gastric volume. Zantac can be used to treat acid reflux, peptic ulcer disease, and is a secondary line of medication to treat anaphylaxis. It takes about 60 minutes to work and lasts for about 2-3 to three hours. Some of the common side effects associated with Zantac are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and constipation. So the cancer-causing chemical found in Zantac is called NDMA. I just had a friend of mine who's really big into the rape scene who just texted me and asked me if this was the same chemical found in Molly and Ecstasy. So for you ravers out there, Molly and Ecstasy contain the chemical MDMA and the cancer causing chemical found in Zantac is different, it's called NDMA. So right now the FDA is saying they only found trace amounts of NDMA in Zantac, which was also the same chemical found last year in the antihypertensive medication Valsartan. What's interesting is last year there was a study published by the British Medical Journal which showed no increased short-term risk of cancer with the use of Valsartan, but that more research needed to be done in order to understand the long-term risk of cancer using Valsartan. At the moment, there are no plans for a recall by the FDA and the makers of Zantac. Large amounts of NDMA have been attributed with cancer, but since they've only found trace amounts of this chemical in Zantac, there are no major concerns of cancer at the moment. The FDA is saying you can continue taking Zantac if you already do, but if you are concerned and want to switch, you should have a conversation and a consultation with your physician. So as I mentioned in my video about Toradol, it is very important that you review the FDA advisories and announcements and that you review the adverse reactions to medications and black box warnings. It is also very important that you have a discussion with your physician before starting any medications or treatments. There are no absolute truths in medicine and science. Things are consistently evolving and changing as we get more understanding of the science and the medicine around us. If you guys have any questions regarding the topic in this video, send me a message down below in the comment section or on Instagram at ECA Wellness. And thanks so much for watching, like, click the bell, subscribe to the channel so that you guys get up to date information on health and fitness related topics. Until next time, ciao.